Here in San Francisco, the coronavirus has put the city's largest nursing home on lockdown and is now forcing dozens of police officers to self-quarantine. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez with the new call to expedite testing for first responders. There is a sense of dread among some city employees tonight, including here at San Francisco Police Department headquarters. The police union chief announced two police officers have tested positive for the coronavirus, and he says dozens more were potentially exposed by those two officers. It's here, and it's real. Police Union President Tony Montoya says the two officers who tested positive are sergeants in the Special Victims Unit. They've been sent home to self-quarantine, as have 25 other sworn officers and two professional staff members in that division. Montoya calls it the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you've heard what's happened in New York, where 200 of their officers have been tested positive, and uh, over 3,000 officers have been quarantined and told to self-isolate. So. Um, you know, that's more than members that I have, so we need to prepare ourselves for a worst case scenario here. Montoya sent a letter to the mayor saying every officer needs to be tested immediately. That way we have a baseline, and if we're going to slow this thing down and stop the spread, we need to know who's infected right now. Meanwhile, the health department has ordered a protective quarantine for Laguna Honda Hospital, one of the largest nursing homes in the country run by the San Francisco Department of Public Health. No residents can leave campus, no visitors since March 6, when the first two staff members tested positive. Now there are five positive coronavirus cases, four are nurses. The fifth person does not work directly with residents, according to the health department. So far, no patients have tested positive, but only 15 have been tested out of the 780 residents. Unfortunately, this is not surprising with the virus circulating in the community. Dr. Art Reingold, an infectious disease expert at UC Berkeley, says nursing home residents are especially vulnerable to the coronavirus. In fact, it is a nursing home that is at the center of the outbreak in Washington state. He says keeping family away is really tough on the residents. It clearly has a toll. It leads to loneliness, potentially depression. So it's very difficult uh, to enforce those kinds of rules and regulations and limitations, but it's really important Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.